You probably know that where you live makes a big difference to your bushfire risk. But you don't need to be living right next to the bush to be at risk. Where you live and how you prepare can make a big difference. So let's look at how fire behaves in different environments. If you live in an area close to or surrounded by bush, you need to be prepared. Bushfires can be hot and intense and they can throw embers towards your home. If you live in an area where grasslands meet built up areas or homes, you need to be prepared. Grass fires can start easily and spread quickly. If you live along the coast, near scrubland, you need to be prepared. Scrub fires can be hot and move fast. If you live on a farm or surrounded by paddocks, you need to be prepared. These fires can spread quickly over vast distances. If you live on a hill, you need to be prepared. Fire travels uphill faster. In fact, for every 10 degrees in slope, the fire speed can double. Even if you're a few blocks back from the bush, you still need to be prepared. Around 90% of homes destroyed by bushfires are lost because of burning embers. Embers can travel many kilometres from the fire. During a bushfire, the RFS and other firefighting agencies will do everything we can to protect you. But there'll never be as many trucks as there are homes. It's your responsibility to prepare for bushfire and to protect your family and to take action. But preparing for a bushfire needn't be daunting. In fact, it's easier than you think. The first thing you need to do is to discuss with your family what you will do if bushfire threatens. And making a plan needs to be done well before the fire. You might have already discussed what you do in a fire with your family. Is your property prepared or would you take the safer option and leave? But there's a few other questions you need to ask, like when will I leave? What will I take? What shall I do with my animals? So taking the time now to discuss a fire plan with your family, you could be saving their lives as well as your home. Whether you plan to stay or defend or leave early, there are some simple things you can do around your home to prepare for bushfires. Here are five simple things you can do before and during the bushfire season. Trim overhanging trees and shrubs. This can stop the fire spreading to your house. Mow grass and remove the cuttings. A cleared area around your home will slow the fire before it gets to you. Remove material that can burn from around your home like wood piles, mulch and leaves. It's even a good idea to move outdoor furniture, cushions, doormats and tins of paint for the bushfire season. Clear all the debris and leaves from the gutters surrounding your home. Burning embers landing in a leafy gutter are more likely to set your home on fire. Prepare a sturdy hose and hoses that will reach all around your home. Make sure you've got a reliable source of water. That could be a dam with a firefighting pump or a well-filled water tank or a swimming pool. There are also more permanent ways of protecting your home. Block up areas where embers can enter the house. Install metal fly screens on all windows and vents. Install metal gutter guards. Position gas cylinders pointing away from your house and away from trees and gardens. Replace wood fences with metal fences. Use stones instead of mulch. Make sure a fire truck can access your property through gates and under trees. A cleared area around your home can slow a fire spreading and give firefighters a safe area to work in. It's a fact. If you and your home are well prepared, you stand a much better chance of surviving a bushfire. Ensure that you and your family are protected by following these simple steps and get ready for bushfire now.